Hello and welcome to another application note video. In this video, I will show you how to import the IEC 61850 system specification in Dixie 5. The IEC 61850 standard defines not only the communication system and data model in the substation, but also the engineering process for substation automation systems. In the first phase, the so-called system specification tool is used for developing the specification. The result of this phase is a SCL file containing the requirements of the substation automation system. This file can be given to the vendors during the offer phase as part of the RFQ, or it can be used later as engineering input during the implementation. The vendors will receive this file containing the specification and will have to implement them in their system. For doing this, the vendor's tools should be able to import this file and support the engineering of the system in an automated way. Dixie 5 supports you by creating the device data model according to the IEC 61850 system specification file created with the system specification tool. When importing the specification file into Dixie 5, it tries automatically to match the existing data model in the chosen device with the data model specified in the file. For example, logical devices and logical nodes are mapped automatically to the correspondent ones in the device. If the proposed match doesn't fill the requirements, then it is possible to change them easily to another mapping. Dixie 5 supports you in automating and speeding up the engineering process by importing the IEC 61850 specification file SSD or SCD in an automated way. Now I will show you the steps for importing the IEC 61850 system specification in Dixie 5. On the left side, click on IEC 61850 stations and then select Import Specification. Now click on Select File. You can then select the SSD or SCD file to be imported. After selecting this file, you will see at the left side of the window the devices contained in the specification and their data model. Now we will map this element to a CPROTEX 6MD. Now all the logical devices have been mapped automatically. If we open the CB monitoring, we can see the logical nodes. For some logical nodes, no matches were found. For other logical nodes, matches were found. For the SynchroCheck, we can see that the proposed device in Dixie was wrong. We manually change it by choosing a device from the drop-down menu. For the logical node, we also choose manually through the drop-down menu. Within the logical node, it is possible to create the functions individually by clicking on the blue square on the right. This is possible if no matches were found. Or create all functions within one click. In case the logical device was mapped wrongly, we can change it to no match found and then create a data object. We then create individual nodes automatically by clicking on the blue square. Once the items are created, you can see the reports including the notes, warnings, and overview in the window which pops up. We can also create all nodes by clicking on the blue square next to the logical node. This data object is called UD1 for now. Now a CB monitoring device was created in Dixie according to the specification. Now we click on Adapt the Data Model. The import was completed. Now we can see that UD1 and all other logical nodes and logical device are renamed according to the specification. Other parameters like IED names have been taken over automatically from the specification. Communication parameters are taken over automatically. Logical device instances and names are taken over automatically as well. To sum it up, Dixie 5 supports you by importing your IEC 61850 system specification file, providing you a quick and reliable engineering of your substation automation system, and saving you engineering costs. 